Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some great emulation news for you. We're talking about Nintendo Switch, LaunchBox, RetroArch, and a brand new controller. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about RetroArch. RetroArch on Steam just got two more cores, Beatles Saturn and Fuse. Beatles Saturn is pretty self-explanatory. It's a core for the Sega Saturn, and Fuse is a core for the ZX Spectrum. With the release of these two cores, RetroArch now has 40 cores available on Steam. All of them are available as DLC, and all of them are 100% free. Next up here, we're talking about LaunchBox on Android. If you're not familiar with LaunchBox at a high level, it's a front and for your emulators, it's not an emulator in itself. It works with your emulators and works with your ROMs. It'll make everything look beautiful and it'll be a one-stop shop for all of your emulation needs. LaunchBox is not available on the Google Play Store. You will have to pick it up directly from their website. And the big update here from LaunchBox is version 1.2, which introduces custom themes. Now this new version of LaunchBox lets you go on ahead and create your own themes, but if you're not a creative person and you're more of a downloady person, well, you can just go on ahead and do that instead. There are themes available right on the LaunchBox forums. At this point in time, there are five of them and I think they are free, and I'm certain there's gonna be more in the future. And as for LaunchBox itself, if you have less than 100 ROMs on your device, you can get LaunchBox absolutely free, and I think it's the fully fleshed out version. Next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, because why wouldn't we be? Yes, there's even more games now booting. Crash Bandicoot is now booting. Kill the Kill is booting and also in-game and playable. Batman the Enemy Within is booting. Darksiders 2 is kind of booting. And so is Okami HD. Last up here, we're talking about a controller. I've received a few messages about this one today. It is the Backbone one for Android, which appears to be launching in November. And this new controller will set you back quite a bit of money, 100 US dollars. Now the Backbone One is kind of like the GameSir X2. It plugs directly into your phone and does not require a battery in order to work. And taking a look at it here, it looks a little bit more comfortable than the GameSir X2. I could be wrong here, I haven't tested this out yet. It is currently out for iPhone, so if you're really curious about it, check out an iPhone review. It'll probably be the exact same controller for Android. The main thing I'm concerned about just by looking at it is the D-pad. The D-pad does not look very promising. I might be wrong though. To be honest with you though, $100 does seem a little bit steep. I mean, I'd be willing to give up three months of Discord Nitro, one month of Game Pass, and two months of Stadia Pro in order to reduce that price. I could really care less about those. I want this price down. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, and we did talk about quite a bit. What are your thoughts on that Backbone controller? Is it too expensive? Is it just the right price? Is it promising, or is it something you're a little bit skeptical about? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.